This fat file is on the bull head, known for its broad bullish head and also called the Miller's Thumb. The name coming from bull heads favouring rapids like mill races, but also because millers used to test flour by pressing it with their thumb, resulting in their thumbs flattening over years of testing. The shape of the bull head and the miller's thumb were very similar. A small bottom dwelling fish, they reach lengths of up to 5 cm and a weight of around 20 grams, though normally much smaller. They are the only freshwater member of its family in the UK and have a dark mottled coloration to the body and white piping on the fins. They have large pectoral fins which almost act as hands to move along the riverbed and help hold in the current. The lack of a swim bladder also helps them keep low to the bottom. They have two dorsal fins with the front one having short spines. The large mouth is used to gulp down small prey like invertebrates and fish fry. They exhibit some parental care also, unusual among most UK fish. The male entices a female into his hole and she deposits around 100 eggs, which he can then guard until they hatch and disperse. He also displays breeding colours, going darker and the piping of the fins being more pronounced. Most commonly associated with moving water, bullheads are normally found in small rivers and streams but can live quite happily in lakes, ponds and canals also. In fact, they've been found at the bottom of deep lakes like Rutland Water and Derwent Water at depths of up to 20 metres. Found in many Welsh and English rivers, it's not naturally found in Scotland, but has turned up in some lowland rivers. These fish are sensitive to pollution, so need a healthy, clean waterway to thrive. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Other fact files are on the screen and new uploads every Monday and Thursday. Also, why not check out my wildlife podcast, the Bearded Tits podcast, where I interview wildlife TV presenters, artists, cameramen and scientists each week. Until next time, cheers.